Good morning. It is Tuesday morning and I am currently working on my second cup of coffee. I'm a little bit of a coffee nerd. I don't put anything in it. I just go straight black coffee. But that's a different story. I just kind of wanted to chat with you a little bit because this is the week that you're going to be turning in uh, your resume and cover letter. Uh, I think I made it due at um, 11.59 p.m. on the 3rd to give you enough time to work on it. But I definitely encourage you to go into Markel and read the information in Markel, starting around page 411. Uh, the textbook just does a great job of <clears throat> really explaining how to write a resume and a cover letter or a job application letter. Uh, it gives you great examples of that. Uh, it talks about how there's two basic types of resumes that you can present. You can either do it chronologically based on your job history starting from most recent and going backwards or you can do a skills-based uh, resume and both of those can be very effective um, you know when putting together a resume for a job. Basically it lets you know that a resume is supposed to be something that's sort of fluid. It can change, it can alter, you can, you can revise it based on the job that you're applying for, which is why I want you to uh, include the link to the job that you're applying for. I want to see your ability to match your resume and cover letter up basically um, with what you're looking for. So you got to be willing to have some flexibility uh, with your resume. Those of us who are a little bit older, we kind of get um, stuck sort of in what we already have and we may not be as adept as maybe a, a a uh, younger generation of being of being required to change the information on our resume. Certainly, as the job field and everything has changed over the years, I'm sure a younger uh, demographic is more used to being able to sort of um, having to tweak their resume based on what they're looking for. So I do encourage you, those of you who have been in the workforce a little bit longer, uh, to challenge yourself um, you know, not rest on the pride that you have and what you've already sort of accomplished in that resume is sort of hard and fast. But uh, this is an opportunity for you to sort of have a paradigm shift and go to another level in, in even preparing your resume. So definitely, um, you guys, I, I, I trust that you're going to do good work on that. And this is going to really help you. Uh, the thing I like about this class is, is that it's just filled with uh, opportunities that... Um, you can sort of uh, use in the future. And so so I want you to really take advantage of uh, what the learning outcomes and the objectives in this class, uh, because I really believe it's going to it's going to be very beneficial to you. This is a great sort of a stepping stone and uh, a doorway into your future and what it is that you're looking to do. So um, definitely don't forget about the quiz. Uh, the quiz is there. Uh, should be open to you. Uh, there should be more information also in Blackboard. If you just kind of want to peruse Blackboard, feel free. I've got uh, information uh, on the next few weeks and what we're going to be doing. If you just kind of want to sneak peek ahead, that's totally up to you uh, to get an idea of what we're going to be working on the syllabus as well. You know, so um, so that information is there to kind of give you an idea, give you a framework of what we're trying to do and what we're trying to build in the class in the way of technical communication, professional document writing, persuading an audience, all of those types of things. So uh, definitely just kind of peruse through Blackboard and um, I'm just trying to upload more and more pieces of information and um, links. Uh, I'm gonna be putting more links to articles as well that you can use. So I uh, hope your uh, week is off to a good start. Uh, today is Tuesday. If any of you are also in the work field like I am, you're looking forward to having a holiday coming up on this upcoming Monday. So with an extended weekend. So, but hey, um, we'll chat a little bit later. Uh, again, just try to get those resumes, cover letters in the memo as well. I didn't mention that. Um, you're going to do a memo to me as well. Just letting me know what it is that I'm going to be looking at. Uh, the cover letter should match your resume. Uh, the book talks about how your cover letter basically is, uh, in a way, a synopsis or a complimentary sheet to your to your resume. And so try to do that. And uh, if you haven't, 
any questions, if you uh, need any more tips, just reach out to me. I'm, I'm here for you uh, to, um, to kind of talk about that a little bit. But um, have a great day today. Have a great week. And uh, just stay on top of Blackboard and the, um, and the assignments that we've got going on. And we'll catch up a little bit later. Have a great morning.